Mortgage rates have doubled in nine months. And in just 40 minutes, the Fed is poised to announce another rate hike. Some, like Scott Miner, who we talked to earlier this week, have argued that rising rates are far more important to the housing market than the stock market. Let's ask George Ratu. He is senior economist at Realtor.com. And the, the point we made, George, welcome, was that yeah, we're, the, we're stock market channel. I got it. But the housing market is a lot bigger and a lot more important to the American economy than the stock market is. And, and things are, are nervous right now. You're absolutely right, Ryan. In fact, what we're seeing is a housing market skating on a knife's edge, trying to determine where the economy, more importantly, is going. To your earlier point and Diana's point, rates are up over 300 basis points. What that really means for today's buyer of a medium-priced home, their monthly mortgage payment is 66% higher than it was a year ago. You put that in, in perspective with prices up 14%, at least listing prices on Realtor.com, rents up 12%. Inflation up 8.3%. That interest rate impact on mortgage payments, and most Americans buy their homes with a loan, uh, really is tremendous. So in a sense, it's not surprising that we're seeing this sharp pullback in demand. Furthermore, what's really challenging, while homeowners brought more homes to market this summer, we saw that May-June period, a lot of homeowners tried to capitalize on record high prices and ready to move on you know, beyond the pandemic. A lot of them seem to have in incorporated this fear they must have missed the peak because over the last two months on Realtor.com data, we've been seeing new listings pull back. Obviously, price cuts, I think, are having also uh, an, an important uh, you know, component in the market. 20% on listings uh, on, on Realtor.com are seeing price reductions. It's, it's a level we haven't seen since 2017 when the market was a, more, uh, was a lot more balanced so clearly, we are in a transition period towards a more balanced market. The question is, with the Fed expected to make at least a 75 basis point uh, hike uh, today and announce it, are we going to see rates move even higher? We're already in some rates at six and a half. Are we moving past 7%? I think in the short term, yes. Upward pressure is absolutely there for mortgage Could be. rates. We're going to hit. We're, we're, you said it, not me. Seven percent is very likely. I'm going to butcher the number because I'm just kind of pulling it out of thin air. But I, I remember it being directionally correct. So please correct me if I'm wrong, George. That every home sold puts something like fifty thousand dollars into the economy. Whether it's the real estate agents' commission, the buyer buying a new couch, painting the home, paying the plumber, whatever it might be. So if we see a downturn in transaction volume, it, it's got to make a hit on the broader economy. It absolutely does, Brian. And in fact, that's the real concern as we look forward. We are seeing the economic impact at the local level. You're right. The multiplier effect from a home purchase is significant. And the sharp pullback in housing so far this year is absolutely being felt. Real estate agents, insurers, mortgage lenders, they've already been laying people off. So my, my big concern is the broader uh, corporate landscape might react to this monetary tightening a lot more, and we might see an increase in layoffs, which could actually put, uh, obviously, consumers even more under pressure. Their budgets are already being squeezed from multiple directions. So the threat of layoffs is enough to potentially pull back on spending, especially as we head towards the tail end of this year and the traditional holiday retail season, which is so critical for many, many retail companies. George Ratu, Realtor.com, senior economist, a very interesting and important time in maybe America's most important market, real estate.